for years have been hearing about how dietary trans fats increase our risk of heart disease and driving up, uh, driving up bad and lowering good cholesterol. Well, now there's a recent study from Spain that's found those same dietary trans fats may also dramatically increase our likelihood of depression. Natural health care expert Dr. Mark McCullough joins us with more. And uh, I, have to, uh, I have to ask, did this surprise you at all? Not really, but mm. the numbers are a little surprising, yeah. alarming anyway. Yeah, because uh, the, the number that we were looking at, 48 percent, people are 48 percent more likely to get depression right. if they have a diet that's high in right. trans well, fats. In, in fact, you were talking about a, a program that followed 12,000 people mm -hmm. really over six years. And so there's a lot of numbers involved here. And, and as you point out, a 48 percent greater risk for depression. We know heart disease is correlated with trans fats, but now bad fats in depression are kind of coming together. So what is trans fat? Why is it such, why is it in everything? It is everywhere. It's a flavor enhancer. It's a texturizer. So to food scientists, it's a great thing. Unfortunately, to the arteries and to circulation in the brain, not such a great thing. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, what, what's being done here with food science is they add hydrogen compounds to vegetable fats to kind of thicken them up. The idea of how uh, oil becomes margarine. Mm -hmm. Now, is your body still able to recognize when you when you start messing at that right. level? Does your body know what to do with stuff like that? Well, that's the sixty-four thousand dollar question, mm. and the key really here is no. You know that the body knows what to do, even with bad saturated fats, yeah. from butters and things like that. The body can figure that stuff out as bad as it is. It mm -hmm. can figure it out. Treat these trans fats different story altogether. Body is clueless. It doesn't recognize them at all. It doesn't know what to do with them. And so, if that happens, then does it get stuck and gunked up in your system? Uh, that's a pretty good description of what happens. Indeed, it does creating problems in the arteries, of course, well documented. Cerebral circulation, real problem. And so cerebral circulation, that would make sense of, of why it could be, uh, you know, an indicator of depression because you're, you're messing with your brain. Well, not only, you, yes, but not only that. I mean, the idea of good fats, I mean, we've certainly learned over the years that good fats have a lot to do with producing good hormones that yeah. are anti-inflammatory. And they're actually antidepressive. So the idea of olive oils, fish oils, have been found to have the opposite effect, antidepressants mm -hmm. and anti-inflammatory. Well, these bad fats, of course, are negatives in that they are accumulative in the body and that they clog up the works, if you will, and really support the notion of depression and heart disease, et cetera, and inflammation, too. So if we're looking to avoid it, I know that you have a list of uh, the top five trans fat mm -hmm. foods. Let's take a look at them. Uh, the first one you say is margarine. Yeah, margarines, unfortunately, are with us all started. And as we pointed out a minute ago, you add a high hydrogen compound in food science terms, mm -hmm. and what's happening is you're thickening up oils, like corn oils and things like that, and you're converting them into sticks of margarine. So the idea of margarines are, are classic. It goes way back to the oleo margarine. If, if you, just to ask real quick, if you look at the ones that say like a smart margarine or, or a natural or a good choice, is that still going to be an issue? Well, important point uh, that there are lists now, according to, uh, you know, government uh, enforcement, that as of 2006, you have to have labels now. Okay. So if it doesn't say trans fats, some of the good margins you're talking about don't have the trans fats, and that's a really important point. But unfortunately, there is still an awful lot of play here, because even where the government says you can put zero trans fats, they're still allowed to put traces in there, mm -hmm. and, and it's accumulative. Just to go back to the list, uh, some of the other things are like snacks and mixes. Yes, unfortunately, things like hard taco shells, pizza crusts, a lot of the packaged cookies and cookie doughs, uh, soups, a lot of the ramen soups, uh, fast foods, of course, the, the hamburger buns are loaded with trans fats, and a lot of frozen foods as well. So you were saying if we avoid some of these and we use fish oil and that sort of thing, it can have the opposite effect because there are good fats. Yeah, well, the University of Virginia is uh, most noteworthy. 2009 had a really comprehensive study about how olive oil, fish oils actually have the opposite effect, more of an anti sort of depressant effect. So, yeah, you're absolutely right. Good fats have a positive effect on mood and on arteries. Bad fats, opposite. And I know it's always better to get your, you know, a any supplement really from your food rather than from a supplement form. But can you integrate these supplements? If like, if you're not a big fish eater, could you get you get a fish oil tablet and still work? Yeah, and again, there's a number of different great studies that point out that very fact that folks who perhaps didn't eat a lot of fish in their diet but took supplements, flax oil and fish oil supplements to build up the good fats in their body, do show that these positive results absolutely convert. Just lastly, I know that a lot of companies. Have have said, listen, we're taking trans fats out of our foods. Do you think that's a good idea? And do you think more companies will continue to do that? Is it possible with everything we like to eat? Well, I think it is, first of all, possible. We live without trans fats for years. Mm -hmm. I think it's also really important from a health perspective that we continue to police this area beginning with the notion that folks should really kind of watch this and monitor those. Zero trans fats should be looked for on the labels. Really keep an eye out. If you see trans fats, police it on your own in your own uh, 
interest. Some good advice, and uh, it'll save you in the long term. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us this morning. For more information, all you have to do is go to maxhealing.com.